Hi guys, it's Jen and welcome to Paint with Jen. I have here a beautiful blank wood panel canvas and I thought I would take this opportunity to show you a little bit of a little bit of a trick. So let's get started. is I'm going to teach you how to transfer an image onto this. Say you have done a sketch on, on another piece of paper and you want to make a painting of it or maybe you have a photograph that you want to capture accurately on the canvas. Um, so I'm going to try to transfer this beautiful picture of my kids onto this board so that I can paint it. The first thing you do, all you need for this is a, just a regular pencil. The first thing you're going to do is color the back of the drawing, or the, in this case, photograph. Now, for this, if you have, if you, if you're doing an original drawing or any sort of photograph, I would recommend like scanning and scanning into the computer and printing it out or making a photocopy of it before you start because you are going to kind of like mess up the page that you're transferring. Just a tip. So first thing we do, we're going to color this and you just want to make sure every bit of the back part of the drawing is covered. Because if there is if there's a spot where you've left white, it won't transfer. Obviously. Okay. Like so. Okay. Now what you want to do is put uh, place the uh, image where you want it to be on your canvas. Maybe right there. Looks good. Right there. I'm gonna get like a piece of tape. This is painter's tape. I just want to keep this in place so it doesn't move around too much. And now all you have to do is start to trace it. I was actually taught this trick um, my grade 9 teacher who was a kind of a weird guy to be honest. Art was always a very important subject to me wasn't necessarily my best subject, um, but it was certainly one of my favorites, um, if not my absolute favorite. And my teacher in grade nine taught me a lot of wonderful things. Uh, he definitely had this art artist vibe. He had like a great big bushy beard. I wouldn't, I don't know if he lived off the grid, but I definitely wouldn't be surprised if he did. <laughs> um, and uh, at the end of the year, we all got yearbooks and I was a nerd. So I got, I went to get my favorite teachers to sign my yearbook. And he was the only teacher to absolutely refuse to sign it. And he said, I will only sign yearbooks for kids who are in uh, in the final year of school, because they're serious about, about art, I guess. Um, so I thought to myself, no problem, no problem. I'm obviously going to keep continu continuing art from from now on, because just I, you know, I, I love art. Like who wouldn't keep doing art? And um, I'll just I'll just get. Uh, I'll just get him to sign a yearbook in a couple years. So I was like, okay. It was a little weird. It was kind of like jarring to be refused. Like, could you please, can I, could you please sign my yearbook? And the answer is like, no. <laughs> but I was like, I'll get my, I'll get in a couple years. But then he retired and I never saw him again. So to this day, I do not have a signature in my yearbook from that teacher. But I have something better. I have this wonderful technique for transferring sketches and photographs onto a canvas. So, there you go. Everyone has something to offer, right? Doo -doo -doo. So, now that I've traced the whole image, uh, I just want to 
lift it. So I'm going to leave this one stuck just so I can make sure it's uh, it's completely transferred in case I missed a line or something. So I've transferred. Looks like most of it. I noticed there's like a line missing here of her arm, a little bit on her neck as well, and maybe her hair. So I'm just going to go over those areas. Just okay. So now this now the sketch is transferred to the paper. So I don't know if you guys can see it. So you can see that it is. I have transferred the sketch to the paper and it's ready for painting. Okay, so there you have it. I have transferred a pitch a photograph of my two beautiful children onto this panel so I can create a wonderful painting of them. Um, if you want to see how this painting turns out, I am just going to leave you in suspense and uh, let you stay tuned till next week's video where we will make this into a completed painting. For now, thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing and I will see you next week for part two. Bye! There is actually a way where you can transfer, you can do a that back.